Hello everyone, this is Karhan. Today my friends Hasan, Batuhan, Metehan, Salih and I are going to introduce a very useful and beneficial website for English language learners, the storyjumper.com. Let's start with the main page. In this page, you should sign up to use the website, but we already have an account, so now we are logged in. This is our main page. In this section, you can see your classes and also you can create new classes either. If you scroll down the page, you will see more. Here we can add and manage teachers. Here you can raise money using Study Jumper. Your students can publish their book and sponsors can buy them. And here we can see the personal books that we created. And under this section, you can see now popular books to read in the website. So, we learned about, the, learned about the main page. To learn further, let's start examining the website deeply. Firstly, let's look at the classes. Now, we will create a new class. First, we need to assign the name of the class. Then, we should set a password for the class. If you are familiar with Google Classes, you can associate your earlier classes you can customize your classes with these settings. And we save the classroom. Now, here is our new classroom. So let's click at it. At this page, we have three sublinks to do, books, and people. Firstly, let's check the to do part. Here you can add students. Discover fun writing projects, review teacher's guide. Now, if you want to add students, you need to click add here. After clicking it, you will see this page. As you can see, there is an add student button. We can either add students manually by clicking this button or we can invite them with a link and a password. If you are familiar with CSV files, you can also add students collectively by using a CSV file. Let's add a student manually. Here we assign student's name, surname, and username. We share a link with the whole class. When they click at it, they will sign up as a student and they will use the username we assigned for them. When they signed up, they can set a new password. So okay, now we added our students. Here, is an actions setting section to manage students. We can also reset their password. Also, here is another option. We can add teacher to collaborate by sending an invitation mail. And plus, we can edit our class by this button. Now, let's go back again to the class section. Discover fun writing projects. Here we can find some writing ideas for students. Firstly, we choose our lesson, writing type, and level of the students. When it is done, the page will automatically bring the projects that you can apply to your teaching. So, let's go back again. Review teacher's guide. This page is important for teachers. If you have any questions after watching the video, you can read everything in this page in order to make everything clear. This guideline goes step by step for teachers and it is very useful for us. So now we examine to do and people sections. Now let's move on to the books section. Here we can see template books, group books and individual books. Here we can create and see our template books. When we click at it, we can see blank book and template of books to edit. To make it clear, I select this. Here is a semi-completed book as we see. We can switch between the pages. Okay, let's go back. After we complete it, we can share the book with our students or anyone else. Now let's look at the group books. 
We create a new book. To show it better, we will select a blank form. Normally, if you haven't added any students, a warning message will come to you at this page. We added our students, so we don't see any warning to add students. We can add students to collaborate on this book. For now, we skip it. This is our book creation interface. We can see the pages, but of course, they are blank for now. So let's add something to this page. We want to add a background. To do that, we click at the scene button. There are lots of images to set as a background. You can neither select community images or you can up upload yours. So we select random one. Now we select the background. So we want to add some items. To do that, we click at the prop section. Let's suppose we want to add a girl. We drag this item and resize it. We also can flip the image. And we want to add a dog. Finally, let us add a text. Let's click at the text button. There are six templates to write anything onto them. So we choose the one looks like a scroll. We also resize it and move it. We can customize font type, font size and color. So now we have created our first page. Now we can see there are four buttons. First one is undo. It undoes an event we recently did. We can delete the existing page and we can add a new page. And also we can copy the page plus we can add voices to our book. So now let's save our book and exit. As we can see our book is saved. So let's click at it. In here, we can click and review it again. And here, we can edit our book again. So, we can send a command, we can share and we can print it. If we click at the button of buy, we can buy a hard copy, paperback, ebook or an audiobook. So now, let me show you how to share this book. Click at share button. At this page, we can make it accessible for public by clicking here. There is a link to share with public. We can also add it to our website. If we click at allow remix remixing, people who can access to, to this book can edit the book. So now, let's go back to the books page again. As a teacher, created, we created this book. So, we can also see this book under the title of individual books. So now, we completed our books. So, how do we share our books with students? There is an important point. We can only share template books with the class. To do that, just click at Share with Students button. When we scroll down to the button, we can see our classes to see and we share it. Now let's go back to the main page again. At the right top of the page, we can see our name. If we click at it, we can see orders and edit profile. If we order the hard copy, we can track from here. If you want to edit your name, password or other data, we save it before when you signed up. We can do it here. Finally, if we click at the library button, we can see the books other people created and we can buy them either. So, today we introduced you the storyjumper.com. We hope that it is useful for you and you can use it in your teachings. Okay, today we will see the story of three friends. Would you like to see it? Yes. yes. Okay, let's see. Once upon a time, there was a peaceful and beautiful
peaceful village. Children were playing without any fear. But one day, an evil witch came, and then nothing was the same. The witch cursed the village. There was no food, there was no water. The village was not peaceful anymore. Then, three friends from the village say, Enough is enough. We should end this curse. These three friends went to the witch's house. They said to the witch, O oh, witch, the great witch, we ask for forgiveness. Please help us and end this curse. We can do anything for you. Anything? The witch laughed. Yes, anything. The witch said, I need three things. An apple, a mushroom, and a bird from the dark wood. <clears throat> then, these three friends went to the dangerous dark wood with fear. They spent three days in there. They fought monsters and evil creatures. So, how does the story end? Uh, I think they will manage to get these three things, but which will deceive them, these three friends? Mm -hmm. Let's see. In the end, they returned to their village successfully. They gave three things to the witch, and the witch ended the curse. After this, they live happily forever. Okay. Did you understand this story? Yes. Okay, let's answer these three questions. First, what did the witch want? An apple. An apple. A bird. A bird. A bird and a mushroom from dark wood. And a mushroom from dark wood. Correct, thank you. Where did three friends go? They went to the dark wood. Dark wood? Correct. How many days did they spend in there? Silence. They spent three days. They spent... Yes, thank you. They spent, spent three days in the dark wood. Okay, did you enjoy the story number? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for watching our video.